More than a billion dollars in road and bridge work is being done in Missouri this year, and MoDOT is asking for your help to keep its workers safe. But as Joe Hickman reports, that's been hard to do, even with distracted driving laws in place. If you've ever been close to a highway and felt the whoosh of a car passing by at 65 miles per hour, you understand how precarious it can be for workers like these collecting litter along Highway 65. MoDOT's Danny Bowling has come within inches of death. I was getting ready to get out on I-44, checked my mirror to my left, saw an 18-wheeler coming toward me, watched the 18-wheeler drift slowly toward me, nothing in the passing lane. He just chose not to get over, sideswiped me, tore the mirror off the truck. At the time, Bowling was driving a truck trailer-mounted attenuator, or TMA, which warns traffic of a mobile work zone while also providing protection for the crews ahead. In the past year, there were 63 times when TMAs were hit by motorists, up from 27 in 2022. This one was actually from an incident a while back. We were doing work on southbound 65 at the bridge on Sunshine. Basically, it's a big crash cushion. It is a very invaluable tool for us, not only you know to save the motorists while they're out there, but also to save the lives of our workers as well. But there's still been a lot of wrecks in work zones, over 5,000 motorists injured over the last five years, 114 deaths. While there have been 16 MoDOT workers killed in work zones since 2000, including William Crane, who was struck by a truck while he was replacing signs on an outer road of Interstate 44 between Stratford and Northview, and Bert Venata, who was struck by a van that veered into a work zone on I-44 near Sarcoxie. And that danger extends to others who work along the highway, like the Missouri State Highway Patrol. We have had five troopers in our history hit while just out on the side of the road doing their job and killed. Uh, we have countless hundreds of patrol cars that have been hit just because of inattention, you know. And we tell people all the time that our number one priority every day for us is to get home safely to our families. That's the priority for the MoDOT workers, too. On May 5th, 2019, MoDOT employee Randall Siddons did not make it home. He was picking up cones in Columbia when a driver using FaceTime and speeding crashed into him. I have to go through this life without my best friend. My kids go through this life without their dad. It's now a part of me. It's now a part of our story. Randall's wife, Adrian, spearheaded an effort to pass a law that includes her husband's last name as the Siddons Benning Hands-Free Law went into effect last August, and it prohibits Missouri motorists from holding a cell phone while driving, as well as texting or shooting video. However, you'll still notice a lot of drivers glued to their phones, and national surveys show that 7 in 10 motorists have admitted that they've used a mobile device while behind the wheel in the last three months. Both hands on the wheel and both eyes out the windshield seem to be the minority of people now driving. I don't feel like there's any specific law you can enact to make it go away overnight. Unfortunately for most people, what it takes is a tragic event in their life that affects them. My biggest thing there is it's not necessarily about the law. It's about you and inside and responsibility. At some point in time, it's the individual using common sense and taking responsibility for their actions to choose to take care of not only themselves, but the people around them on the highways. Every day we are in somebody's way. We try to be as respectful as we can and try to get that to reciprocate back to us. Distracted driving, that never ends well. You know, at highway speeds, looking at a text message, you're typically covering at least a football field of distance before you look back up. That's when those bad things happen. That's what we're trying to prevent. And one thing to keep in mind is that even a second of distraction can have life-altering results. Your actions can be forever out there. Reporting for KY3, I'm Joe Hickman.